Hi, and welcome to this video on DeepSeek. I'm going to show you how to use it and why this thing should be on your radar. If you do anything with artificial intelligence, whether that's SEO, which is what this channel is about, whether you code, or if you just like playing around with AI tools. DeepSeek has been making all the rage in the AI space because it's the new version that is beating a lot of the flagship models. And we've seen this plenty of times, models beating other flagship models. But what makes this really interesting is the price difference in the training component. So DeepSeek was trained for approximately something like five and a half million dollars. That might seem like a lot, but in comparison, ChatGPT 4.0 and Claude, they need hundreds or upwards worth of hundreds of millions, if not billions worth of dollars to be trained. So five and a half million dollars is a little splash on a massive bucket when it comes to training costs. And you can access it for free and it's quite good for SEO and content copywriting and I'm going to show you how to do that now. You make a free account going to chatdeepseek.com. I'll leave the link for this below. And you can see that with a massive prompt that I've been working on for a while and you can have access to it. I'll show you where you can get it below. Um, I created this prompt, this uh, pr uh, blog, sorry, that is researched and it is backlinking to the researches that it found, which if you don't know, backlinking to sources is a good component from SEO. It just kind of does the work for you. You need to reference where you're getting your information and outbound linking to those sources is really, really good. So it created a nice blog post uh, and this was about how AI is going to or might transform education. And I've got here the AI uh, cookbook and I've got all the sources that if I click on, I'll see that the sources are actually real and they're high quality sources. American Psychological Association, that is a great source to reference. It's really, really good. Um, and the future of education, I've got even a little table, which is fantastic. Uh, the final thoughts and stuff for like that. Now, that is really, really good content. Is this blog going to magically rank number one on Google because this DeepSeek version three somehow has the perfect components to write blog posts? No, because re reality is that ranking your website number one is a lot more than just writing content. It's a very big, important component, but SEO is about the on-site components of your website, how good it's performing, how many backlinks, external links are facing to your website, and a hundred other more components. But for writing, this tool, considering it's free, should be on your radar. And I'm going to show you how to write this and how to format it in a way that is going to do 95% of the work for you when it comes to content copywriting. By the way, if you don't know me, my name is Nico. I run an online community called the AI Ranking School Community, where we simplify SEO and we help you maximize your search engine optimization with AI tools like the one I'm about to show you today and automations, making this a lot easier for you. We have a free community, the AI Ranking Free Community, and a premium community. Very big difference between both of those. But if you want to check out the free community and kind of dip your toe in the water when it comes to AI-powered SEO and automations, I'll leave a link to that below so you can join. And the sources, the prompt that I'm about to share will be in the free resources in the free community below. So when you make an account on DeepSeek, you will have this kind of chat feature, which we're very used to by now. It's very much like ChatGPT, but you've got two main components here. You've got deep think, and then you've got search. Now, before we get into all of that, I want to show you here how it stacks up to the other flagship models. So using um, LLM chatbot arena, which is kind of a measurement that stacks all of the language models on each other uh, in terms of, uh, you know, how well they can perform on coding and content copywriting and a bunch of other things. And you see here that DeepSeek is number nine, which is incredible considering the minimum amount of cost that it took to train this thing. So just to put that into perspective, the other models easily are up worth of $100 million or a billion dollars to train this thing, whereas this thing was five and a half million dollars and it makes it competing just as good, if not sometimes even better. So back to deep seek here. I can go to deep think and deep think turns this a little bit into O1 from OpenAI. OpenAI is O1, which is the reasoning model. So if I try this out, for example, uh, and it'll see, you'll see it kind of thinking through the task that it needs 
to do, which is kind of cool seeing the thoughts of it. I'm sure those are coded in a way that doesn't really replicate how it actually goes through this and thinks through this, but it's quite, quite cool. So let's say um, code me entire snake game in HTML. And I've got the deep seek component clicked, selected, and you can see here that it's thinking and it's going through the thinking process here, which is kind of cool. It's setting up the structure, it's telling you what it's going to do, and now it's actually coding the game for me. I like the fact that I can see the thinking process of it, much like uh, O1 from OpenAI, but it's at that level, although to be honest, I need to be very clear here. I think that O1 when it comes to reasoning is slightly better, but only slightly. And considering this thing is free and I'm paying $200 a month for OpenAI's O1 because I need to use that model, then um, yeah, it just kind of makes it, makes it very interesting. If I click run, let's see, I haven't done that before. Oh man, I can actually play this straight out and it made this in one shot. I didn't really even know that you could run HTML code. That is fantastic. Fantastic. O1 can't even do that. Um, that's insane. <laughs> okay, I won't, I'll stop playing Snake. I'll just lose. Wow. Okay, so one shot coded a simple enough Snake game, um, but I could even test it without having to use anything else. That's amazing. So how you can use it potentially to write your content as well. We're gonna start a new conversation here. And if you go to the free community, and I'll leave a link directly to this below, uh, I've created a prompt that will help you just take the fluff out when it comes to writing this, because if you don't give it good prompting and good indication of how it should write and how it shouldn't write, then it's gonna have the classic uh, in the ever evolving world of, and it's gonna sound very AI-ish. So I'll leave a link to this below. You'll see DeepSeek Copywriter Prompt and it's quite large and it's quite dirty and that's okay. <laughs> it's just essentially telling it how it should write and more importantly, the a list of negative keywords and phrases that it shouldn't follow. So what you're gonna do is copy that entire link, uh, prompt, sorry. You're gonna go to DeepSeek to a brand new conversation and you're gonna hit the search button and paste the prompt. Before you hit enter, you wanna put the actual topic that you want to write about. Let's try and do the same that we did before, or let's do a different topic. Um, let's see if we can write about Meta's new uh, LCM models, large conceptual models, and what its impact is going to be on AI. So I've just said here, let's write about Meta's new LCM models. I want to know what they are and how they might affect the AI space. I've got the search enabled and we're gonna hit enter. This is after the big dirty prompt, which I've provided for you below in the resources. You can see that it's searching the web. It found 28 results, 28 sources. Now it won't actually hyperlink all the 28 sources. It's gonna hyperlink the relevant one. Perfect, so you can see that it's hyperlinked the last one and let's test it out to see if it's actually a real source. You should always do that. And okay, so it's done that. It hasn't done it on all of them. So I'm just going to prompt it to try and do that again. Sometimes it does it one shot. Sometimes it needs a little bit of reminding again. So now I've just told it, look, write this thing again, but ensure to hyperlink the sources correctly to the contextual keywords appropriately throughout the blog post and not at the bottom. Let's see if it's gonna understand that. Again, I might switch it to deep think and see if it's gonna do that. Perfect, and now, as you can see, it's actually hyperlinking everything correctly as we asked it to. Let's test it out. So it's got here, as explained in Meta's research paper, and if we click on this, it's taking it to Meta's research paper, which is fantastic, it's what we want. Uh, in a recent study, it's taking us to the recent study, so now it's doing a lot better. The good thing here is that we can go from deep think to research, which is great, I really like it. Now, again, like I said in the beginning, this isn't ready right away to be published, but it's gonna help you get 95% of the way there. Sometimes it will hyperlink the research right away, sometimes it won't, you'll have to play around with this, it isn't perfect, but as a comparison, let's grab the original prompt right away the whole thing, including the write about Meta's new LCM models. And let's see how GPT does um, when we give it the search functionality here. And with the exact same prompt, we ask it to do this. And you can see the GPT always has a problem in correctly linking to the sources here. 
It gives you the sources, but it doesn't actually link to them in a way that we want to. Even if we copy the whole thing, let's see and make sure that we're not uh, doing an incorrect, in, an unjust comparison here. And yeah, it's just not linking to the actual components like we're asking it to. So again, I guess that's uh, one for DeepSeek and zero for ChatGPT. Anyway, another model that you should check out, really interesting to use. Be aware that it is from a Chinese company. If that bothers you, hey, maybe use another email. If it doesn't, then go ahead. Uh, their API is very, very cheap. You can use their API or you can go through Open Router. If you want me to do a video on how to integrate DeepSeek into an automation to create content, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to learn how to maximize SEO with AI tools and automations, I suggest you check out our online community, the AI Ranking School community. I'll leave links to this below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, and if you really found value in this video, consider subscribing and liking this video. Cheers, I'll see you in the next one.